The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Let us now see how Georgia is positioned on the world democracy map. For this, we will need to turn to the most recent EIU Democracy Index 2022. Globally, almost 8 billion people live under a wide variety of political and cultural circumstances. Those circumstances can be measured. The sliding scale is between the free and not free with the subtext that democracy lies on the one end and authoritarianism on the other. According to the Democracy Index report by the Economist Intelligence Unit, EIU, the state of democracy around the globe is at its lowest point since the index began in 2006, blamed in part on the pandemic restrictions that saw many countries struggling to balance public health with personal freedom. In this year's report, the EIU reported a drop of the average global score from uh, 5.37 to 5.28, the biggest drop since um, 2010 after the global financial crisis. This translates into a sobering fact. Only 46% of the population is living in a democracy of some sort. Now let's dig deeper. The region, Middle East and Central Asia, concentrates a substantial number of countries classified as authoritarian regimes. In fact, the region's overall democracy score is now lower than what it was before the start of the Arab Spring in 2010. There are no countries falling under the category of full democracy in this region. Only Israel and Cyprus are considered flawed democracies. Turkey, Georgia, Armenia and Pakistan fall under the category of hybrid regimes and the rest of the countries in the region are considered authoritarian regimes. Hybrid regimes are nations where electoral fraud or irregularities occur regularly, pressure is applied to political opposition, corruption is widespread and rule of law tends to the weak. Um, media is pressured and harassed that there are issues in the functioning of governance. North America, Canada and the U.S. is the top-ranked region in the Democracy Index with an average score of 8.36, but this dropped significantly from 8.58 in 2020. Both countries have dropped their positions in the global ranking. However, Canada still maintains the status of a full democracy. The U.S. is still classified by the EIU as a flawed democracy and has been since some 2016. The report points to extreme polarization is the key issue facing the country. On the bright side, political participation in the U.S. is still very robust compared with the rest of the world. Flawed democracies are nations where elections are fair and free. Basic liberties are honored but may have issues. There are issues in the functioning of, of governance. In 2021, Western Europe is the region with the most full democracies in the world. In fact, four out of the top five full democracies are in this region, Norway, uh, Finland, Sweden and, and Iceland. Full democracies are nations where civil liberties and fundamental political freedoms are respected. Valid systems of governmental checks and balances exist. There are limited problems in democratic functioning. Media is diverse and independent. Eastern Europe paints a different picture, uh, where there is not a single full democracy. Three countries, Moldova, Montenegro and North Macedonia, were upgraded from being considered hybrid regimes to flawed democracies. Ukraine's score declined, becoming a hybrid region. Russia's score also declined, keeping the authoritarian regime status. It is important to note here that uh, this report by the EIU was published before the invasion of Ukraine began and the war will almost certainly impact scores in next Next year's report. Authoritarian regimes are nations where political pluralism is non-existent or limited. The population is ruled by absolute monarchies or dictatorships. Infringements and abuses of civil liberties are common. Elections are not fair or free if they occur at all. Media is the state-owned or controlled directly or indirectly by the ruling uh, regime. The judiciary system is not independent. Criticism of the government is censored. The checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.